All right, we are getting started this morning. Uh, it's Friday. Brandon's got two more days worth of work, so you got to make it count. He's going to be on the older Yanmar today. He's got the digging bucket and the mower. So I've got to clean out all these ditches around this whole place. It's like 5,000 feet around this junkyard. And uh, I'm going to get him to run down here with the mower. And he doesn't have to do a tremendous amount, but like some of these branches just kind of mow them back a little bit so when I'm digging it out, I'm not swinging all into them and everything. But the main thing he's going to do is go down here in the woods first. I'm going to cut my lights off. Is There's probably 500 feet of ditch that goes off through the woods onto the neighboring farm down here that the guy said we can clean it out he just doesn't want to tear up any more than we have to because when it when it gets pretty wet the water just kind of lays in here really bad you can see how stained it is but it hasn't rained here in a little while so it's kind of dried out but I'm gonna get him to I brought the old yam mark because we got to go through the woods here and uh, we're going to try to dig out. There's like little piles of crap in there that's blocking the flow and see if he can't get those removed out and kind of cleaned up a little bit. It's been a while since I've been here. I looked at this in July, so I got to kind of figure out the best way to get back in there. All right, I got the machine across the ditch, got Brandon set up. He's just going to plow through the weeds there and what I did over here was just kind of, I just wanted to kind of see how much mud was in the ditch. And uh, I just dug down about a foot. My plan is to take eight or ten inches out this whole ditch line. So I uh, told him just whatever he can dig out through there is uh, what's going to help get this area to drain. So uh, they don't want to disturb too much. So I told him just to kind of knock down what he needs to and drive over the, the little bushes. And just get in there and get every whatever he can get cleaned out cleaned out just pile it up in the woods i think he's happy now he doesn't have to worry about making anything look nice just dig and throw it in the woods it's the yanmar in its natural habitat so i got him started i guess it's time for me to get to work big old combine they said it sucked something up through there when it was cutting and it just destroyed the inside of that machine that's why it's here I got a big Volvo L220 I think that's the bucket for it big bucket but mine tilts <laughs> oh foggy windows so I'm gonna take the tilt bucket off put the digging bucket on go knock some trees down after I put some fuel in it
getting everything fueled up and while uh, putting some grease up there I noticed uh, somebody's tried to tag my machine here but uh, we're clearing today and we'll see what uh, logo lasts longer the sticker or the welded on brand baby we'll see let's get the clearing Like there's some old light poles in there I'm gonna have to pull out. I can't burn those. Pile everything up. We're gonna burn it out here in this open area. Well, they're going to burn it unless they want to pay me to burn it. Part of the deal they wanted to deal with burning it. I don't see why they can't. They got that humongous loader to push everything up with. As long as I keep it all in a pile. Nothing like working where it's a little sandy. Stuff comes up a little bit easier. Probably, I don't know, seven or eight hundred feet of it. It's got a lot of trees. There's not a lot right there. I mean, there's a most of them are right here in this area where I can clear them and throw them into the pile. But up there, it's just kind of a few along the ditch bank that needs to be ripped out. So that won't be too bad up there. But down here, it's a fair amount.
always right. Up. is they don't have to worry about setting any combines on fire when they burn it because they're they've already been pre-burned. All the flammables are removed now.
now it's a whole lot less. This is kind of what I wanted to make good progress on this. I didn't realize that was so thick down there. So what I'm doing, I'm pulling out these little hardwood trees that have grown into the ditch. What they're doing is causing it to be uh, clogged up because as they grow, those roots just go out up and the trees catch uh, leaves and mud and everything. Next thing you know, the water can't flow out the ditch, so I'm digging these out. There's a guy that wants a little bit of firewood around here, so I'm stacking these over here to the side. He can cut off whatever he wants.
punch draw.
like this, I'll just break the branches off of it. It's actually on the other side of the fence. I'm trimming the neighbor's trees. Treating the help to some better lunch today. Yeah, Turn around. It up. We got that. No McDonald's. We got Smithfield's chicken and barbecue. Can't beat hey, that's that, a nice man. shirt you're wearing right there. Is that a? Well, we're on your job today. Official so company to, shirt right. right there. Got to I promote. Need to, need to dress the parts. Yeah. Up. yeah. Since I, mean, I was technically your employee today. <laughs> And I acted like an employee. I knocked the track off. The I mean, at least major. nothing major happened nah. today. I mean, just a little minor track. And the employees here were more than gracious enough to come help us put it back on. Really Since, once again, that. I don't have enough tools to be able to get it on. Mm -mm -mm. It wasn't too bad. I at least stopped in the right amount of time. So We'll take a little walk down there after lunch, and you'll look at the mess I got him trying to work in. And I'm up here nice and, it's nice and peachy while I'm working. He told me it didn't have to be pretty, so I was like, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yesterday was nice and pretty. Today, yeah. it's like, wherever it dumps is it it's so. where it lands. Yeah. But you can find that shirt on letsdig18.com if you right. want one, if there's any left. They've been selling out pretty quick. And I've just been too busy. You're going to more now with me wearing it. I know. I mean, you're just fashion model here. Model right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's see our food. Well, Brandon, you're getting the ditch cleaned out. We are getting there. I got a little deep right there because I thought I was going to tip the mini over. <laughs> well, we're down about two feet. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't even planning on all that, but hell, while we're in here, let's dig it out. And, you know, I didn't really disturb a whole lot right here. No. You can tell. No, I mean, the leaves will fall on it. You'll <laughs> never know it. The briars will be back next year. <clears throat> well, the next time you come dig this, it out, you'll be like, man, where's all these calls? This was about where you knocked the track off, wasn't it? Somewhere? Yeah. Right Maybe here. down over here. I think it was down here a little farther. Yeah. Been kind of it out now as go. So pretty much this ditch leaves there, comes down through the woods. I don't know where it goes, but it, it drains that way. And it wasn't draining good, so pretty much we got permission from the farmer landowner to dig this out all the way down to his culvert pipe because that pretty much determines the uh how much we can get it to drain uh can't really go any lower than the pipe that's set down here so we'll clean it out you got what maybe another 100 feet yep <laughs> and then uh I can jump on that yeah field side, coming along you can kind of see all the mud it's getting dug out of there i think it looks great All right, let's get back to work. So I've gotten a big pile of trees down here, kind of flung around. And that ditch line just about cleared. It's all laying in the ditch. I've got to grab it and bring it down here. So I'm going to go up there and finish clearing. And every time I try it back down here, I grab a big grapple full and bring it back down here. All right, so it's time to get all this mess cleaned up now. Grab it. And the stuff way up there, they're actually grabbing. 
grabbing it with the tall little loader, and I kid you not, he's coming. I'll get it on video. He's got about a tractor trailer full on the forks. <laughs> it's a L220. Thing will probably pick up. 30,000 pounds worth of brush. Got a big old pile. He's got those super long forks on it for picking up the combines and stuff out here so he can get a big old grapple pull.
goddamn loader. God so mighty, that thing will get a dirt grapple full. Look at that. That's an old tractor trailer load.
I'm going to come check on the Brandon. Looks like he's got most of the ditch cleaned out. It's like I told him. I was like, it ain't got to look pretty. Ain't nobody ever going to see it back here. We just need it dug out. Looks like he's got a pretty good little channel there now. Oh, goopy mud. Let's go see what he's got. Heck, I can't even get across it. Oh, he dug it out good. Hell yeah. Let's go up here and check on him. Oh yeah, he got it dug out good. That pipe looked like it's probably about half full. Well, you can't ask no better than that. He's getting all the tires and everything pulled out of the creek. <laughs> Crap bit gets chunked in there over the years or washes down. Yes, sir. It ought to drain now. And all right, I'm gonna go back up there and move some more brush. Looks like he's about wrapped up. This is a wrap for today. I got it cleared all the way up here to the office. So the whole ditch is cleared, this quarter is cleared. 
they helped me out with that loader by grabbing all that brush. It saved me from having to track it all the way down here. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to put the ditching bucket on and start cleaning this ditch out. Make a few piles along here. And they've got about an 8 yard bucket for that loader. We'll probably uh, scoop it up with that. Take it down here and pile it up. Brandon's been running around here with the mower cutting these tree line back so I can clear all these ditches out. I think it looks pretty good. You are digging here, right? Or I just Yeah, we're doing good. Okay. I'm ready to go home though. I've had I'm enough. Here away, so it was just fun. Oh, huh. It looks good though. I don't have to worry about ripping my. To... Oh, that'll get piled into a pile of mud. <laughs> Let her cool off. We're going home. Okay.